How's it going, everybody? My name is Yama. Uh, Yama Azim. You can call me Mazi. Um, a lot of people call me Mazi. I'm in San Francisco, California, and I have a bike shop called 947 Works. So the way that I think about building is, obviously, I'd like to have my bikes that I ride. I've, I've kind of struggled with that because I end up wanting to do so much to my bikes that I end up, they break a lot and I don't ride them as much. So this last season with my shovel head and iron head, that was like the first season that I didn't have broken bikes. And I had like my Evo Sportster, I had the iron head, I had the shovel head, they were all running somehow. And I was, we went on as many rides as we could. So that was really fun and like the, the gratification that you get from building something and then going from like working that hard, putting all your money into it and all your time into it to finally like riding it on a trip. It just feels so good, like that feeling of putting so much effort and like man hours into something and then seeing it ride down the road, you know? And like the cool thing about those two bikes was um, Blue didn't have a bike at that point, so I would just let him ride one of my bikes. And so I would always see one of my bikes riding next to me and it was the coolest feeling. But personally, I, I have a problem, I had a problem where I would get into projects and think like months or years in advance and be like, I want to build this bike. I want to build this bike. I want to build this bike. So I'd buy all the parts for it and be like, eventually I'll get to it, you know? So I've just been collecting parts for years now for this bike and for my pan head. And like the shovel head was like, when I built the shovel head, it was one of those things where I wanted to make as many parts as I could on the shovel head. Um, and so it's kind of like, I like to build bikes, but I love to ride them as well. And it's this in-between where like, they're both really fun to me. If I just had somebody build me a bike and I didn't put any time into it and I just was riding it a bunch, I don't think it would be as special to me to like ride that bike. I wouldn't treat it as, as good. And so when it comes to bikes that I've put together, I get so stoked to like finally be able to ride them. And like the pan head is like the biggest thing where that thing had just been sitting for two years. I had a bunch of problems and I finally figured it out. And I think the first ride, I was like beyond stoked. I was like freaking out the fact that I could ride that thing. And even the flathead, like the flathead, I didn't ride it for two years, two or three years. And then right before Trog, I got it running. And the first ride, like it's on the YouTube channel, but first ride, I was freaking out. I was like, like just the feeling in your heart that you get when you finally get to ride that thing, you know? And of course they're gonna have problems, but it's, it's just such a fulfilling feeling, you know, to be able to like finally get on that thing and ride it. So my, I grew up around cars. My, my dad worked on cars and I grew up like, as a kid, I would watch him do motor swaps in the garage, which was really cool. And so I always wanted a car and my cousins growing up had cars and so, um, I got really into that. When I moved to San Francisco, I had a, uh, E30 BMWs and um, I was like interested in bikes, but uh, I never thought it was like feasible. And so it got to a point where I started working at this company called Iron and Resin. And uh, I saw basically the whole San Francisco um, crew of like motorcycle riders. And that's when I got introduced to choppers. And before I was into like cafe racers and crouch rockets because that's kind of all I knew. But I remember the first event that we had and I got to meet a bunch of the like SF guys that rode choppers. I was like, that's it right there. And a few, I think it was like Sean or something did, uh, did a burnout out front in, on one of his choppers. And I was like, that's it right there. <laughs> I just got super into choppers at that point and really wanted to build a chopper. And at that point, I think I kind of like spent so much money on cars and noticed that it wasn't as easy and I didn't have a space to do any of that. But working on bikes, they're so much smaller and so you can fit a bunch more bikes in the same space as a car. And that's kind of when I made the transition of like getting out of cars and I still love cars and I still would like to work on them, but bikes are just easier, less stuff. <laughs> so. The first bike I ever rode was a CBR 600 and it was 
in Arizona when I lived in Arizona and I rode her around the apartment complex and I remember parking it and I was on like this weird incline and I put my foot down and like dropped the bike just like not even thinking about it. <laughs> and I just looked at my friend and was like, I'm so sorry, man. But that was like the first introduction to like riding a bike. Um, but I guess like full time in riding since 2016. Uh, and that's kind of when I got my first couple bikes and they were trash and I like rode them through the city and like they would die. But the first sports store I got was around 2016 and I just kind of like was obsessed with it and went on as many trips as I could. But I was like, the young guy that didn't know shit, trying to like keep up with all the other guys that, you know, I looked up to and um, it was really cool to like get into the scene a little bit and make friends with everybody and see what people were building, you know, and that's what really like, the, the way I think about bikes is like, it's, it is very artistic and um, everybody has their own style and like there's so much history, especially in San Francisco, there's so much history behind it. And you, like that history, it's like so rich and like all the Hells Angels and like the 60s bikes and that's kind of the era that really inspired me and you know, that's what made me want to build bikes the way I do. So uh, back in the day I used to tag and um, my last name is Azim, A-Z-I-M. And when I was trying to figure out a tagging name, I was like writing out my name, trying to figure out what to do. And I ended up like just putting A-Z-I-M, I put the M in front of the A and it's Mazi. So it's like, instead of Azim works or whatever, like it's Mazi. So back in the day, I like changed my name on Instagram to Mazi cause it just kind of like was better than Yama. And um, yeah, now people just call me Mazi and I like it. I mean, I wouldn't have named myself that <laughs> if I didn't. So that's what it is, it's just me. I grew up skateboarding and um, watching like skate videos to get hyped about skating. So like I would watch all the Baker videos and I would like um, basically any kind of like big company that made a video, I, we would watch it daily and get so hyped that we would be like, let's go skate. And so even now, like if I'm going to skate, I'll watch a video or two and be like, this is hyping me up to go skate. And there was a few skateboarders that I watched and like a handful of car channels that I watched that they were building like their YouTube, but also they were, they were doing what they love to do. They were building the dream bikes or the dream cars that they were wanting to build. Um, and YouTube, like doing the YouTube thing was making it possible for them to do that. And one guy in particular, John Hill, um, back when I was watching him a lot, he was around, I don't know, like 23 when I started watching him. He had his own company, he was doing YouTube every day, he was making daily videos, and like, the way that I always think about things is like, if that person can do it, then why can't I? And so at that point, I had worked at a few different companies and kind of started to understand how like, businesses worked. And in my brain, I was like, I don't even know if like, people want to watch these videos, but I've always made videos my whole life, like skateboarding videos from back in the day, just stupid hijink stuff, like being a kid, whatever. I always had a camera on me. And so when I decided to make the YouTube channel, it was like, I think the first video is like a random video that Joey made. And it's just him taking his like coin fun, putting it on the back of his Harley and like riding to cash it out basically. And that's kind of what like sparked the like, we, I can kind of do this, you know? And um, the first videos are terrible. And, but like, they're so fun to watch. And the real thing behind it all is like, if nobody watches it, this is more for me and like my future self to look back on and see where I started and like see the progression that I've made over time. And um, yeah, it's, it's like really fun to like have the community aspect of things, you know, and like have your friends in it and see all the like the different people that are in your life at that moment in time. The company used to be called Mazimoto, and I made the switch over to 947 Works because um, I noticed myself wanting to incorporate cars, which is my, my love, and like I love drifting and cars, building cars, but I also love bikes, I love skating, I love music, all that stuff. And the Mazimoto name kind of like, put, I put myself in a corner, 
where I didn't feel like I could incorporate the rest of those interests into the channel. And so 947 Works kind of opened it up to be able to do whatever I wanted. And so this year I'm kind of like shifting my focus from uh, like working on, I don't know, like daily stuff like this to just like building my own bikes that I want to build, uh, making content about it, and hopefully growing the YouTube to the point where it's just passive income and I can just do what I want to do and have a good time, you know? And like have my friends around and, you know, go on trips. So that's the plan. <laughs>